Like no gunshots, but they get in low, low. What's going on guys, someone for us here today for another video. Before we get into today's topic, I'll be telling you the gameplay and background is going to be from someone, probably. I have no idea who it is at the moment because this video is going to probably be longer and I need to find a pretty long gameplay. But whoever it is, uh, their link will be down in the description. If it's mine, then their link won't be down in the description because it will be from me. But anyways, let's get right into this. So today's video is going to be talking about what all we did. So as you should see, there should be a bunch of different pictures in the background of what all I did on my trip of going on a 25 hour long drive all the way out to New York. It was actually a 29 hour drive to get back on a bus, which was absolutely ridiculous, guys. I mean, it was absolutely just ridiculous. I had like three or four transfers depending on like uh, e e well each time it was three or four transfers and it was actually pretty annoying to transfer the rest of it was okay but uh, I always had to look for the bus and everything if it was a small station it was easier but at one point there was one there had a hundred different ones so I'd have to go ask like a person they'd have to say it. and then I had to sit in there for like two hours and there was no Wi-Fi in one of them or signal or anything because it was underground it was the one in Manhattan and it was so annoying I hated that one absolutely because I couldn't text anybody, I couldn't do anything. I had to sit there for two damn hours waiting for my bus, and that was absolutely just not fun whatsoever. But anyways, guys, I'm going to, you know, stop rambling about the bus now. So the very first day is what I'm going to tell you first. So first thing off, I, you know, got off the bus. I saw Katie. It was, you know, it's pretty awkward at first because, you know, we actually hadn't, you know, met in real life. We hugged. We ended up walking back because it was just a, like a 10 minute ways from her house or something like that. So we walked back and we talked. It sounded a lot different in real life because her voices are a little bit different in real life than they are online. But we got used to it pretty quickly. So we ended up getting to her home. We just chillaxed in there for a little bit and then we ended up going and uh, picking up her cousin after that we went and got pizza we got some special little uh, I can't remember what they were they were like croissant looking things not croissants but they were like this weird little thing with cream in it I can't think of what they're called and then tricolor cake something like that but uh, we ended up getting that and we had pizza there oh my god pizza was absolutely perfect it was the best pizza I'd ever eaten in my life like the cheese the crust the tomatoes sauce it all tasted so fresh so good i'd never tasted anything like that before and they piled they piled the toppings on it was absolutely ridiculous i'd never seen so many toppings on, my, on the pizza my mouth is watering thinking about it it is hard to commentate because of how hungry i am thinking of that pizza it was so good but after we got that we just went home and we ended up just chillaxing the whole day Oh, and I have one more thing to tell you guys. Well, actually, a few different things. Before I actually move on, because, you know, I, I'm going to be telling you guys the days in order and everything. But I want to tell you guys what some other stuff was like. So, basically, I ended up having to sleep in the basement during the days I was at her house. And it was really strange because her dad couldn't know that I was there. Because her dad doesn't speak English. They're, uh, they're Dominican. They're from uh, Dominican Republic. Her mom and dad actually used to live there. They moved in. Her, uh, Kaylee's is the first, you know, to be born in, you know, America actually so it's actually pretty cool then her cousins were born there her whole family ended up moving over and everything but basically they all have the Domin Dominican like traditions and everything like they're not supposed to date till they're like 18 uh, they don't want them to date anybody who's not like a really rich guy as well they're uh, really strict about that they're wanting to hook up with like you know rich people and all that stuff her mom's not exactly that way but I know like uh, some of their uh, or her one of her cousins but you know some of them like to be you know every Everyone in their family is basically rich. They want better for their family, you know, all that kind of stuff. They all go to private schools. They're all, you know, they're pretty rich and everything. They, you know, they want better for their family, basically. So they wouldn't understand why their, you know, daughter is dating some country boy from, you know, K Kentucky. That's, you know, you guys get what I'm saying, basically. So, you know, I had to hide down in the basement. She had to say, you know, uh, make excuses for the rest of the family not to come over and everything. So it was pretty interesting. So anyways guys, let's actually move on to day two. Day two was when things got a lot more interesting. We actually went into the city, you know. I took my very first public bus. It was strange because I didn't know, you know, you actually had to stand and uh, if you didn't have a seat, you had to stand and you held like uh, one of the bars up top or one of the bars next to people and everything. It was really strange doing that. I wasn't used to it. Uh, it was only me, Katie, and her cousin. Her cousin's name is Emmanuel, so we all went there. Uh, we took our first subway trains. It was really strange. We just went around all by ourselves. We ate Chipotle for the very first time. We saw Moza or the Museum of Art. We saw 
uh, we ended up seeing the place where the movie was, uh, the, uh, the Night of the Museum movie. We saw where that was made. It was like the natural museum of it's some museum. I don't know all these things. I'm sorry, guys. It's really hard to think of all of it because I'm not actually good at telling stories or telling you guys, you know, what all happened because it was so, there was just so much. Like, literally, we did an amazing amount of things. We went to Central Park. We saw all the different things there. We saw turtles. We saw a bunch of turtles in there. I was not expecting to see turtles. Like, in one of the water areas, it was really strange. Like, they were just sticking their heads up and looking at us. I was not, not expecting turtles at all. But we did so many things there and Chipotle oh god it was actually really really good like I wasn't expecting it to be that good the line there was so long I'd never seen a line that long in my life the line literally stretched like to the very end of the building and then it like to or well, to the very front door and then it ended up stretching around that and it was like crazy I had never seen lines like that long before for anything but you know it was in the city and everything so it was just crazy seeing all this and everything so it was a pretty interesting day we just did a ton and a ton of stuff today uh, once we got home you know we ended up chilling we came back home you know we just relaxed I think we played a little bit of Halo that night. We played Halo some of the nights and stuff, so it was pretty interesting. So then day three, we barely did anything at all. Basically the whole day I had to record videos till like, oh, 6 p.m. or so. And then at 6, we ended up going to Atlantic City. That's the first day we did. We took a drive and it took us till like midnight I think just to get there so we didn't end up getting the best room like she's wanting to get like the best room in the entire hotel like one of the really really you know expensive ones but they were out so all they had was a um, double bed room so we ended up all having to sleep in the same room uh, I ended up having to sleep with her cousin Emmanuel on one bed and then her on another but we ended up lying there and uh, sleeping together me and Katie till her mom got back from the casino because it was also a casino and um she ended up coming back at like three in the morning every night so we just ended up cuddling for a while and just you know watching uh netflix and random different stuff like that on the computer and doing it and also i had to edit videos while i was there that night and everything but we really didn't do anything at all and before i move on to the next day i want to tell you a little bit of background information first off the hotel was a five-star hotel it was absolutely insane the place was just ginormous it was huge they had like built in tons of restaurants they had the entire you know casino part that's why it was a five-star one was because you know it had a ginormous casino that you know you know brought it in a ton and a ton of money probably from that but her mom is actually a really good gambler she ended up us uh, she had a hundred dollars and she turned it into a thousand she's one of the highest ranked members of like they have like a whole ranking thing like kind of like you know how cod has like iron bronze you know for league play well she was a platinum member at the hotel she was almost a diamond i think she was a diamond at one point which is the highest one but she wasn't now basically you have to win a certain amount of money at the casino or have a certain amount on your card or something like that to be one of the higher members and you actually get like special uh like prizes and stuff like that it's kind of weird like because she was a platinum member they were giving away um uh, pots, not what, not pots, uh, stir fry, not stir fry, I can't think what they're called, like, they're, uh, it's a certain cooker thing, I can't think of it right now, you make stir fry in it, and, uh, yeah, st stuff like that and everything, but they gave that away to platinum members, and they gave a few other things away, and they have, like, this whole rewards card thing and everything, but she ends up making a lot of money every time she goes there. She has lost some, but she knows a ton of the people there, too. She knows, like, a millionaire, um, at one point, we were, we were gonna end up going to, um, we didn't get there early enough, but a couple days before, one of her millionaire friends was having a rooftop party or something like that. They were all flying up in helicopters and everything like that. And uh, we didn't end up getting to do that. That would have been really awesome if we got to, like, you know, see a roof party and you know, ride in a helicopter and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it was it was pretty interesting either way. But anyways, let's get on to the fourth day. So anyways, the first thing we ended up doing that day was we went to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant, uh, which is actually really cool. I think he has multiple ones, but this is one of the ones he goes to a lot, and the 13th winner of Hell's Kitchen is actually working there. He wanted, you know, one of the really good cooks to actually be there to be uh, cooking and everything. So he set her up with a job there. We took pictures with her, which is absolutely awesome. I don't know if you've seen the pictures yet or anything, because I don't know what order these pictures are going in or anything or how long they're going to be, because this commentary is extremely long and everything 
But um, hopefully you guys have seen them already or will see them because, well, you will see them eventually. So anyways, after that, we ended up walking the boardwalk. It was really cool seeing all the different buildings, all that and everything. Uh, we ended up doing bumper cars. We rode go-karts. We did all kinds of like little things like that. I actually had fried ice cream. It was really cool. Uh, I've had fried ice cream, like the flavored one where it tastes like and everything, but this was actually like fried ice cream. It was actually like they had the ice cream fried. Like it's really strange and it actually tasted really good. Like the fried part was so good. You know, that one that's probably giving me like 10 pounds or something like that. So, you know, that's probably not good for you or anything like that. It was really good and we just did a bunch of stuff there the whole day. We went to the pool. Uh, I actually got in my first sauna. That was really cool. I actually got in my first hot tub too. We all just had a bunch of fun doing all that kind of stuff and everything. There was just a bunch of stuff we did that day. Well, it wasn't, we just mostly saw things actually. Oh, uh, we went across the beach as well. Saw that the beach was really dirty there. It was kind of just not good at all we didn't get in the water or anything but uh, I've got a few shells and everything like that and brought them back with me uh, it was it, the water just was really dirty the beach was dirty all that kind of stuff oh I saw seagulls oh the seagulls are so noisy but they're actually kind of cute like I think the seagulls look completely and totally adorable but everyone hates them apparently because they're really noisy but I, that's not what I really had a problem with there was actually I hate it when all the cars were honking like, that bothered me so much. Like, I never really hear, like, people, like, constantly honking their horns. People were constantly doing it there uh, when we were in the city, Atlantic City and at New York City. It was so annoying. I just hated it. It just, like, gets on my nerves so bad. So, anyways, the fifth day was our last day in Atlantic City. What we basically did, the first thing is we ended up going out of the hotel, or we ended up going out of our room, not the hotel. We went to the buffet there, and the buffet was so good. Like, it was the best buffet I'd ever been in to my in my entire life all the quality of the food was so good like it was amazing like I can't explain how good the food was there it was better than any buffet I'd ever eaten in my entire life it was better than any fast food restaurant I'd ever eaten any regular restaurant I'd ever eaten like all for for breakfast food or anything it was better than IHOP all the all the food they had there it was amazing like the food was absolutely just I can't I can't tell you guys how good it was it was just that good after that we went shopping they bought me a couple shirts I didn't want it I kept I complained the whole time because I didn't want it you know them spending like they're buying like $30 shirts and they bought me two of them or I think they only bought me one I'm not sure I I haven't even checked they were they were gonna buy me two but they didn't at one point or they I, I don't know basically they were pretty expensive shirts and I didn't want it or anything like that but they got me them anyways I got Keelisa's shirt as well but, um, it wasn't anything like that. It was, you know, a shirt for my actual school, like the school I go to. I gave her one of the shirts that I normally wear around the place and everything like that. So that was pretty cool. Then after that, we basically just left Atlantic City. We went home, and we ended up playing Halo the whole day. Because, you know, I wanted to actually be there and play it with her. Because it was the first game I ever played as a child was the original Halo. So it was really fun. We did that. And then after that, you know, I, I guess I'll tell you the next day because there, we didn't really do much. You know, I woke up in the morning, we had to, like, shower, do all that, you know, all my normal stuff, brush my teeth, put deodorant on, all, the, you know, all the normal stuff, and then we just packed my bags, all that and everything, we ended up going to, um, the bus station, and I had to get off and go, and everything, it was really sad, uh, I, I'm not even gonna lie, like, I cried the night before, because, you know, I was pretty depressed, I didn't want to have to go and not see Kaylee's for, like, a whole year or something, because it probably will be an entire year before I end up getting to see her. If that, if longer, who knows? It could be two years, three years, you know, it could be till we end up moving in together. It's it, it it's just depressing in my eyes because it was the most happiest time of my life. I'd never been as happy in my entire life, guys. I cannot explain how happy I was being out there with Kaylee's. It wasn't just the city or anything like that. Like I love the countryside. I love it here. I still I still would way rather live here my entire life down in Kentucky. I just love like the small town I live in and like the country being so close to me and where my Anna lives and all that. I just love all the nature and everything. I love that a lot. But just being there with Kaylee's and everything and actually being able to cuddle and like actually being able to feel her. Like be able to just 
like actually be there like you know to, for it's just amazing to actually be able to talk in person and to actually be able to like hold her and like you know kiss and stuff like that everything was just perfect just being able to actually be there like i can't tell you guys how like happy i was the entire time i was so energetic i was so happy i'm a little bit down now I, you probably could tell in my commentary i just haven't been as you know happy as normal i, I it, it affects over time but you know i just you know i miss her so bad already just being gone for just a, you know an, an entire day i just guys i'm sorry i'm rambling on about this I, I, i'll I, you know i'll stop look i'm stuttering really bad now at this point but anyways if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like comment down below what you guys thought on this trip and all the pictures and anything like that and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe